pork stew, shredded pork, and braised pig knuckle. Just some of the most popular dishes served during the Chinese New Year holiday. But as families in China welcome the Year of the Rat, fewer pork items may be on the menu. In recent months, prices have more than doubled. If prices keep going up like this, then I will order and eat less pork, or even try not eat out as frequently as before. African swine flu has wiped out half of China's hog herds. Up to 200 million farm pigs have died or been culled since the outbreak began a year ago. Harmless to humans, the contagious disease kills pigs within 10 days. There is no vaccine. China has 26 million pig farmers, and the industry is crucial. It impacts many other sectors, and this shortage has caught everyone's attention, including farmers, consumers, and the government. The Chinese government has released more than 100,000 tons of strategic pork reserves to ease demand and lifted environmental restrictions on pig farming. China consumes half the world's pork, and during the Chinese New Year holiday, demand will be at its peak. To address the shortage, the Chinese government has embarked on a worldwide spending spree to buy more meat. And it's pushing up pork prices worldwide. Beijing has ramped up pork imports from the European Union, and despite the trade war, is waiving tariffs on U.S. pork. It's also boosting imports of other meat protein, including Australian mutton, Argentinian beef, and chicken from Brazil. Agricultural experts say the pork shortage could affect eating habits in the long term. We will see increase for poultry consumption, since it's a meat of high protein and nutrition, and it has a shorter life cycle and high farming value. It could be the most possible replacement for pork. For now, pork remains China's favorite meat. But with no end to the shortage in sight, it will continue to be more costly to bring home the bacon. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing.